Hi everyone, Ben with Dream Factory. In this short video, I'm going to cover API logging with Dream Factory and Logstash. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing to point out is the demo today is a premium feature in the Dream Factory Gold product. So this is not an open source feature. Uh, you can get Dream Factory Gold by contacting our sales team, sales at dreamfactory.com, or you can just fill out a form on our website to get a demo and we'll follow up with you. Um, we can also provide a link for you after you've contacted us so you can install the Dream Factory Gold and try it out um, before purchasing. So what I'm going to cover today in the feature matrix is here at the bottom. This covers uh, some features in our API management that are available in Dream Factory Gold. I'm quickly going to cover event-based logging and talk a little bit about how you do custom logging with scripts at a very high level. Uh, so here we are. I've gone to Bitnami, gotten the link for Dream Factory Gold, and I've installed it on localhost. You can install it. Uh, separately on your own server, um, you can evaluate on your laptop, or you can run it, you know, in a data center. Wherever you deploy it is where it's going to be. Uh, the Logstash service is how you do logging of API events in Dream Factory, and it's really, really easy to set up. So one thing I'll point out is the Elasticsearch Elk Stack, uh, E L K. So Elasticsearch Logstash and Kibana, Elk is the acronym is pre-installed with Dream Factory Gold if you get the package from Bitnami. You can also install Logstash separately, or you may have an existing Logstash server running, and you can point the events that occur in Dream Factory to that Logstash endpoint by setting it up as follows. So here's an example. Uh, you can have as many Logstash APIs as you want. I've called mine here Logstash, given it a name and a label and a description, and made it active. And then the configuration is going to cover all of the API events that you want this Logstash service to log. So it's all just about configuration, very easy. The host and the port uh, of your Logstash server, wherever that's running. Pick a protocol that you like. Here I'm using Gelf. Uh, there are some other ones here uh, that you see, HTTP, TCP, and UDP. Uh, and then you pick what type of data objects you want to capture for a given event, which I'll talk about in a second. So there are a bunch that you can pick. You can make it um, you know, as, as little or as much as you want in terms of the data objects. Here I'll just select all, and you can. it's pretty self-explanatory. You can read through these, and we have uh, more information in our, our documentation. Uh, then pick an event or a set of events that you want. So here in this example, I'll go ahead and uh, scroll down to user. We'll do something really simple, like maybe uh, an obvious one is you want to uh, go and and log uh, logins and, and maybe log out. So the login would be uh, user.session.post. One thing you'll notice here is all of the APIs that you've configured in Dream Factory are available to log. So here I'm just going to do a user.session.post. If you leave log level and message blank, it will just use the defaults that Logstash uses. So the log level would be info, and the message would just be the event name. But of course, you can override that and put your own custom messages in. So I'll make this log level info and uh, say something like simple like user login, um, and that's it. And then you can add as many of these as you want. Um, go ahead and select as many as you want this particular Logstash service to embody, and then you save that. And all of these events will be automatically logged for you in Logstash. So there's no type of coding that you need to do. It's just all configuration. Uh, so that's all there is to it. I'm going to go ahead and cancel this and then um, show one other thing. Um, here, Logstash is obviously its own API. So it shows up in the API docs. And there are a few different endpoints that you can use in your server-side scripting as well. So you'll notice... Uh, Logstash, this is different than logs, so the logs are system logs that, sh that show up actually in the file system. So here, this is the Logstash API that I just showed, which is a bit different. We're pointing uh, events to Logstash in this case. And we can post and update um, uh, Logstash entries really, really easily. And this is really useful because in addition to the configuration that you saw where you just you know, log different events, which is really easy to set up. You can actually log custom events when certain scripts fire in the scripts tab here. So if you write a server-side script and you want to capture some information um, in the context of that script, you can call the Logstash endpoints directly from within that script as well. So that provides kind of the use case of custom event logging for various business case scenarios that you might have uh, that you that are in addition to um, or beyond the scope of setting up Logstash within, uh, you know, just generic event logging. Uh, so that's about it. Um, again, this is a premium feature in Dream Factory Gold, 
and uh, you can get it by contacting sales at dreamfactory.com uh, or go to our website dreamfactory.com and just ask for a demo um, and we'll be in touch. Uh, so hopefully this is helpful and thanks for your time today.